You know, Rodney and I have been sort of talking about doing this record, you know, a, a, a project together, probably almost as soon as we met. It seemed like it was, it was um, inevitable that we would do it, but as the years went by, I don't know, one day I just thought, you know, it's getting late. <laughs> <laughs> Bluebird Wine came came about because we were kind of sitting there thinking, well, you know, I never recorded it, and it was yeah. it was on the it opened Emmy's first yeah that was solo the first album. I think it might have been I think it was the very first song in the demo that Brian Ahern, who produced the record, and he said, you know, I've got one more thing. He said, I I haven't listened to it yet. I just signed this artist, this songwriter, a recommendation of somebody I trust, and. Uh, so I think he heard it for the first time. It was still in its, it was a cassette still wrapped in the brown paper, you know, going through the U.S. mail. And uh, the, I believe that the first song was Blue Bird Wine, and I just went, okay, that's the ticket. And so we immediately started trying to track him down so that the two of us could meet. And uh, I think when we met, uh, he flew to D.C., which is where I was living at the time. And in a friend's living room, Rodney played me till I gained control again. So... Boy, it, it, I was off and running. I had hit the mother load. <laughs> Hank DeVito and, and Donovan Cowart wrote it, and I, I only had a vague memory of it. It's it Brian, Brian Ahern, our producer, that pulled it out of his archives and played a demo of it that I hadn't heard in years. Yeah, I hadn't heard it in years. And it I was remembered a, it. Oh, what? Well, where has that been? I got a monkey sitting on my back. Now when you know he likes it black. Don't need no cream, no nicotine. All that monkey needs is black caffeine. What black caffeine? It keeps me lean. Can you hear me scream? Blue black caffeine, yeah, black caffeine. It keeps me lean. You can hear it scream. Give me black caffeine. More black caffeine. Yeah, black caffeine. Besides the hot band, you know, the original with James Burton and Emery and Glenn Harden and John Ware, Billy Payne from Little Feet came in and, yeah. and played a Stuart great Smith. deal. We had Stuart Smith, Chad Cromwell, and Michael Rhodes. And uh, Jim Hope came in. Yeah, Tommy Stuart Spurlock, Duncan. Stuart Duncan. Larry Franklin played some fiddle. Oh. Dennis Crouch played upright on Invitation of the Blues. We had an array of great musicians. Vince Gill came in and Vince Gill, he's the only other voice he's on the He's the only record. other voice. He sings, uh, I think, two lines on uh, Hanging Up My Heart. Well, I'm hanging up my heart In the lights in the bunkhouse I don't want to be wounded I'm gonna give them up with hanging up my heart. It's all about what's the best way to use both our voices in telling a story. And uh, this way we had to be equal partners Plus, and chase the you feeling. get to sing, <laughs> you got loaded again. Ain't you handsome when you're high? Yeah. I mean, that's a great line that to is a great... sing. I mean, you really feel good about yourself. Yeah, you really you? do. Yeah, <laughs> like that's some real finger pointing there. <laughs> you got to load it again. Ain't you handsome when you're high? Nothing matters. Chase the feeling till you die. Yeah, baby. 
I can't wait to get on the road and 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 sing these songs for people and 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 get back on the road like Rodney and I were together in 1975 and um, just uh, I know we're gonna have some fun and I love these songs. Plus, you know, we have a history of other songs, you know, in our own careers, stuff we've either, you know, done together or songs of Rodney's that I've recorded. The only problem is going to be they're going to cut us off at a certain point. Yeah. We're going to have to cut the show short. Only so many songs you can sing in a night.